Hey everyone, it's the Notorious KIA. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're at Savers looking for some Zara inspired fall trends. So without further ado, let's get to shopping. Fingers crossed, of course. Let's go. So anytime you go thrifting or shopping in general, I suggest that you create a list. This limits overspending and also limits you buying things that you don't necessarily need. Um, and it also helps the experience be less overwhelming, especially for first time thrifters. So for trends, of course, we're looking for animal print, plaid, scarf print blouses, fuzzy cardigans, grandma accessories, khaki and the color brown, blazers, tweed, corduroy, It's been about two days and I organized all the stuff I picked up on this rack and honestly like each and every time I go thrifting I just like I outdo myself like who do I think I am I'm just really 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 excited to show you guys these things like they're just freaking amazing and the fact that I was able to find like inspiration from Zara in the thrift store is just it just shows you like trends come and go it makes no sense to spend a ton of money on something that's gonna go out of style in a couple of months when you just head on over to the thrift store and literally get your life for a fraction you think I'm playing a fraction of the cost okay <laughs> so here's pretty much the items that I picked up as you can see you got the animal print you got the plaid you got the corduroy yeah, really huge trends is going on right now. You got the scarf trend that's in, printed blouses that look like scarves. Yes, this is something that you can find at a thrift store for $2.99, okay? Stop playing with me. Look, the fuzzy cardigans, found it at the thrift store, $7.99. Plaid skirts, we got you too. Got your corduroy pants, scarves, and belts, and accessories. All right guys, so I'm finally ready to show you guys what I picked up. Before I get into that, I just wanna give you guys a quick backstory and inspiration for this video. You guys always hear me talk about trends coming and going and how you should always check out the thrift store. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that Zara is one of my favorite places to shop. So in an effort to be more sustainable, I really wanted to challenge myself to see if I can find some Zara inspired items at the thrift store. And let me just tell you girls, she delivered. And as far as knowing what Zara has in stock, I'm pretty familiar with what they have because I'm either on their website, on their app, or in their store several times a week. Not even a shop, it's just a great place of inspiration for me. I love how they style the models. And I also love, no tea, no shade, trying to pinpoint the designer that they completely ripped off. So yeah guys, without further ado, let's hop right into the items that I picked up. So excited! Alright, so first up we have animal print, which is this season's hottest trend which is something that, in my opinion, never really goes out of style. Zara has a whole entire section dedicated to animal print, and you can find it at abundance at the thrift store. If you checked out my last episode of uh, Thrift With Me, you saw that I did pick up a few animal print pieces there as well. All right, so first up, we have this animal print blouse, which is inspired by Zara's animal print top. I just love the pattern. You just have the whole entire animal kingdom on here. It's giving you cheetah, it's giving you leopard, it's giving you zebra, and you also have some chain detailing as well. This is in a size small. At first, I didn't know if it was a men's or women's shirt because I just found it in a random place. But how you can tell is men's shirts, their buttons are on the right side, women's are on the left side. So the buttons on this shirt are on the left, so this is a women's shirt, it's a women's size small, and it's 100% silk. 
it doesn't feel like silk it feels more like cotton but that just goes to show you the versatility of silk so next up we have this snakeskin print dress which is inspired by Zara's snakeskin print top and skirt I'm not sure if this is a swimsuit cover-up or if it's just missing the lining or if it's just super super sheer and that's just how it's supposed to be but yeah it's really sheer it's in a size 12 and what I like to do of course if you checked out my other videos you know that I love belting things that are too big so I always like to belt things cinches in the waist give it more silhouette and just makes it more fitted I just love how flowy this is <laughs> I just love things that are just just flowy I like leaving a trail behind me like yes Kia was here Next up is another snakeskin print piece, and they are these faux snakeskin print pants inspired by Zara's faux snakeskin leggings. I'm in love with these pants. Great quality, made really well. They're thick, they're stretchy, and they were only $3.49. Like, maybe that was a misprint, but I'm here for it, all right? <laughs> and I also just love how the light just reflects it. It gives you a metallic finish. I'm here for it. It's just like a regular waist. If they were high waisted, I would have like literally lost my mind. But yeah, just a really great pant, great quality all around. So Plaid is a print that never really goes out of style, but we've seen its reemergence maybe fall, winter of 2017, and I really don't see it losing any momentum anytime soon. Um, of course, the thrift store has tons of plaid, so go get your life. First up, we have this pleated plaid skirt, which is inspired by Zara's patchwork mini skirt. So this is definitely one of my favorite pieces I picked up during this haul. It's definitely giving me uniform vibes. I just, I'm just getting nostalgia, going back to my uniform days. Like the skirt part was like my favorite favorite option I used to actually turn the dress which was hideous into a skirt put on my stockings and my socks and my sneakers and really get my life <laughs> so that was the inspiration for this whole entire look I just can wear this skirt in so many different ways and that's a these days that's a major factor for shopping thrifting or not I have to be able to wear it in at least three different ways um, for me to pick it up so with a t-shirt I could wear this with a sweater I could wear it with a blazer and that's just three off the top of my head Next up is another plaid skirt. We have this plaid skirt inspired by Zara's plaid wrap skirt. Almost an identical match to the Zara version. I love the fact that it ties in the front and girl, she has buttons and pockets. Real buttons and pockets. We don't play none of that fake stuff over here, okay? Literally find this in the store. Like today, like I said, the Zara version is almost an identical match. Um, so yeah, go to the thrift store. Like why y'all keep playing? Y'all play too much. Like. Stop being childish and go to the thrift store. All right, go get your life. <laughs> Next up, we have this plaid blazer, which is inspired by Zara's checkered double-breasted blazer. This is in a size 16, so it's super oversized, but you guys know that's that's me all the way. Like, if I can't swim in it, like, it's not for me. That's not the garment for me, all right? <laughs> I also love that it says it was made in the USA, which is another big thing when it comes to sustainability. As far as like plaid and how I would wear this, like I love print mixing. You can obviously mix it with another plaid or another print altogether. Or if you're feeling a little safe, you can just pair it with like all black or just any solid color. Next up is this houndstooth blazer. It's not plaid, but I do consider like houndstooth, plaid, and checkered to all be like in the same family. And this one was inspired by Zara's short, houndstooth blazer so this one is in a size 14 so she's extra large and I'm loving the color like yeah it's it can be a little tricky to style um, but you can just keep it like black and white just play off the colors in the blazer so like black white um, and even some earth tones as well possibly I love the two pockets in the front and I'm actually gonna be adding this one to my Depop shop um, if you guys don't follow me like what are you doing with your life I'm probably gonna be adding a few of the pieces mentioned in this video to my Depop so make sure you guys are following me at the notorious KIA and come shop my closet So if I had to define fall using a texture, it would definitely be corduroy. It's such a fall staple. It keeps you nice and warm and cozy. And the thrift store has tons of corduroy. So, all right, so first up we have these corduroy trousers, which are inspired by Zara's corduroy culottes. I'm just so in love with these pants. These are probably another favorite of mine from this haul. I just love how they fit. They're high-waisted, so I'm gagging. <laughs> and um, honestly, they just fit me like, ideally this is how I would like 
all my pants to fit. They're high-waisted, they're relaxed at the hip and the leg. You have a nice straight leg and they just hit the ankle at the perfect length. So they're perfect for your fall boots. Um, these were originally from Brooks Brothers so you know that they are made really well. Oh, I just love these so much. <laughs> Next up we have this corduroy jacket which is inspired by Zara's corduroy jacket and it's a part of the cranberry maroon burgundy family. It's in a size large so it does fit me a little roomy. Um, I just love this jacket because you can wear it open, you can wear it closed, you can belt it, uh, you can wear it as a top, etc. And this is another piece that I'll be adding to my Depop shop. Lastly for corduroy, we have these corduroy pants which are inspired by Zara's flared corduroy pants. I'm just in love with the color. I love earth tones, I love warm colors. Um, and for me, my favorite way to, um, to style them is either to mix them with other solid colors like black, white, navy, or to just do like a whole like earth tone look. Uh, these are in a size two slash 36. I'm guessing 36 is the length, two is the waist. Doubt it, because I'm not that skinty. And they're, they're still a little roomy, so they're trying me with these sizes. And so they fit a little, I would say more so mid waist versus high waist, and I'm super high waisted. So fuzzy teddy bear textured sweaters and outerwear has become a fall staple. We've seen it emerge a few years ago and you know, it's, it's here to stay girl, she's here. You'll also see like faux shirling or even faux fur. Um, these all fit within that fuzzy teddy bear category. All right, so next up we have this fuzzy cardigan which is inspired by Zara's soft faux fur coat. This is in a size large so it's extra warm and fuzzy and cozy. For the longest, I couldn't really get behind the whole fuzzy trend because I just felt like, you know, the fabric would just make my skin itch and I just want to rip my skin off. But surprisingly, like I'm here for it. The key, which I'm finding is you honestly have to find the item for you. It's not something in my opinion that you can shop online for. Like you really have to try it on because it'll look good online, it'll look good on the mannequin and model. But once you get home, like you really might feel like Paddington the bear and you'll be over it. <laughs> Scarf print is just really right up my alley because it makes a statement and it just mixes and clashes. So many different prints, which I like to do. Um, you're seeing it on dresses, on tops, on skirts. I feel like like Versace kind of like put that chain print, scarf print kind of thing on the map. And now you're seeing a bunch of different designers like come out with their own version. Next up we have this scarf print blouse which is inspired by Zara's printed t-shirt. This honestly reminds me of a Versace shirt, like Versace, Versace wear. No, boo, the thrift store, okay? It's short sleeve, like you really ever see blouses that are short sleeve. Probably look really cute with like a turtleneck and love, I'm so in love with the buttons. Like the small details like buttons really stand out to me. Very cute vintage design, which you can find in abundance. Like printed blouses in general, you can find them all over the thrift store. From bags, to belts, to jewelry, to scarves, you can find so many amazing one-of-a-kind accessories at the thrift store, so why are you playing? Not on my watch. <laughs> All right, so let's start with scarves. First up, we have this leopard print scarf, which is inspired by Zara's animal print scarf. I'm so in love with this one. She's thick, girl. Well, not thick like that, but thick as far as width is concerned. So this is one of those scarves that you can obviously tie around your neck. Um, you can make a nice turban out of it. Tie a nice little knot. Oh, yes, I'm here for it. I love using scarves to kind of like clash with what I'm wearing. So if I'm wearing something printed, you throw on a nice leopard scarf, honey. Give the girls what they want. Next up we have this animal print scarf which is inspired by Zara's printed scarf. This is a smaller scarf which would be which would be good as like a headband. You can also tie it around your neck like this. The shirt, maybe tie it in like a bow kind of thing. Like that and kind of like hang it off the shirt to the side like that. Or you can either even like do like one of the wrapping ones. Kind of thing. Like, I just love scarves. Like the options are like so endless. Like you can even turn this into a top. 
um, during the summertime. That's what I like to do. Like when I go um, on vacation, I'll just like turn it into a bra top like that. Really, really cute. Um, yeah, I don't know why we are still paying full price for scarves when the thrift store has them in abundance. Like $30 for a scarf? That I'm just gonna like tie into a turban on my head? Really? It's not even silk? I'm good. Let me go to the thrift store. Next up, we have this transparent bag, which is inspired by Zara's transparent bag. The first thing we're gonna do is remove this hideous pouch. Like, she can go. She can really have several seats, because why are you here? <laughs> and this is really cute. Like, I'm really in love with the whole transparent bag uh, trend. The one thing I'm not a fan of is just having like all your valuables just visible. Maybe that's just the New York in me. I just feel like somebody's gonna rob me. Um, so what I've been doing is I've just been inserting like a dust bag from like one of my handbags or my shoes and just like inserting it into this bag like that. Like when did this bag come out? Like girl, this is spring summer 2020. Like you ain't even up on this, all right? So another item that you can literally find rows and rows of is belts. Um, we have this leopard print belt, which is inspired by Zara's printed belt. Uh, this is amazing. <laughs> it has leopard print and then it also has like this gold mesh lining. I actually had to make this belt smaller. I added like two or three additional holes. Um, but this is a really, really great belt. I'm probably going to end up adding this one to my Depop shop because I already have like a leopard print belt already. And you know, why do I need to? Right? So, yeah, check this out on my Depop. This is really, 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 really. All right, so next up we have jewelry. And you know, this little pouch actually came in a little handy because this is where I put all the jewelry. So, first up for jewelry, we have this chain necklace, which is inspired by Zara's Carabiner, Carabiner necklace. This is so cute. And it looks like it has like animal print on the chain as well oh, she is gorgeous look look at that look at her look at her everything and i love mixing like my small necklaces with bigger necklaces and just have my earrings and i just look very expensive like why are you talking to me girls please make sure you are disinfecting and properly cleaning your jewelry before it touches any part of your body. Like I'm not trying to have any fingers falling off, like your neck is all black. Like literally take a, um, a Lysol wipe, some alcohol and like thoroughly clean it because you don't know where it's been, who it's been, all that kind of stuff. I'm like, I'm not even like a germaphobe like that, but I just think about, you know, all this stuff is previously owned. So I'm gonna actually do a whole entire video on taking care of and um, washing and all that kind of stuff. Things I do with my thrifted pieces. So before it even gets here, like they've been cleaned, all right? They've been preyed upon. I spray a little sage spray on it and we get them together. I'm really big on energy and I don't need anybody's spirits in here that are not of God, okay? <laughs> Next up for necklaces, we have this chain and faux pearl necklace, which is inspired by Zara's um, faux pearl and coin necklace. This is so cute. You can actually wear it like this or you can double it like that really cute so I'm not a huge fan of pearls but you know the DIY God in me was just like hmm this would be you know a nice little handbag strap you can remove the clasp and then just add like you know two clasps on the side and just you know add, make it a handbag strap if you want to change that I have like a vintage Louis Vuitton belt bag but it doesn't have a strap that I can always use with this. So it's just all about having that eye, like that vision to really, you know, take nothing and make it into something or something that works for you. you know? Next up, we have these black and white vintage earrings, which are inspired by Zara's vintage style earrings. And to be honest, the whole style of earrings, even these right here, are just all inspired by vintage earrings. So why go get the imitation when you can go get the authentic thing at the thrift store, all right? That's that on that. And lastly, we have these vintage clip-on earrings, which are inspired by Zara's multi-hoop earrings, or should I say Zara's multi-hoop earrings are inspired by these, um, because these are clip-ons, and what I'm noticing with the um, earrings that Zara is putting out now, these included, is that they're clip-ons. Um, so yeah, they're a little easier on your hole, but I'm finding that they're just so easy to come off, especially if the earring is really heavy and that's like super embarrassing, like your, your earring keeps falling off. Um, so these I only wear in the house. <laughs> so that completes this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Like, girl, what did she do? 
she did that, all right? Yeah, uh, don't forget to check out my Depop shop. I will be listing some of these items on there. So yeah, guys, I wanna make this a challenge. So I'm challenging you to head to your local thrift store or your favorite thrift store and see if you can find some Zara-inspired pieces. I want you to use the hashtag Zara Thrift Challenge and get involved, like, let's go. We're putting Zara on notice. You know, it's just an effort to be more sustainable. I know, you know, I still live a life of overconsumption, but you know, I'm making better choices and that's what, what it's all about is share with you guys creative ways to just, you know, rework your clothes, thrifting, just finding alternative ways to shop. Like I mentioned in another video, we vote with our dollars. So if we start, stop supporting these companies that aren't being transparent, that are being horrible, horrible to the environment, horrible to their workers, you know, they'll get the message and they'll, they'll come around or they'll lose money. And thank you again and I'll see you guys in my next video. So until next time, peace and dopeness.